So today, the great promise of trigonometry. What is the great promise of trigonometry? The great promise is that you could be, you should be able to measure things from far, far away. If you look at a tree, you should be able to measure how far, how tall the tree is. If you look at the moon, you should be able to measure what's the diameter of the moon. That right there is nice stuff. That could make you the life of the party. And today we're thinking that talk is cheap. It's time to actually measure something from afar. So we brought in a little guest here, this guy. And we're going to have him uh, use his five brain cells to try to measure something from afar. And we brought something to measure from afar. We brought a little tree, an actual tree from my backyard. And we're going to have the tree stay there for a little bit. There's the tree. And we're going to have this guy just look at it and measure it. Talk is cheap. Let's actually do it. So the first thing we do is we position our observer here so that looking up at the tree creates a 45 degree angle. So that would be somewhere around here, and that would be somewhere around there. And all we need to be able to do is measure angles, how big this uh, angle is. And suppose here it's 45 degrees, that's the first observation. Then we have our observer walk a few steps, and we measure these steps. Say we measure, I don't know, uh, 12 feet. And then we have him look, uh, we make sure we, he walks far off until when looking up causes an angle of 30 degrees 30 degrees and that's it that's all that's required and now he knows and we all know exactly how tall the tree is that's what's amazing here's how it can go so uh, to do the actual math we will clear the page and have our tree come back later we'll see you soon take a little break and the actual math will go something like this so What's required is you, you should know 45, 45 triangles and 30, 60 triangles. That was another lesson. I will assume that you know that. Having said that, we look at the first picture. First picture was, not like that. First picture was like this, 45 degrees. And the distance from the tree is unknown and the, age of the, the height of the tree is also unknown. The second picture was a little bit longer on this side. In fact, it was x plus 12 feet, and the height of the tree hadn't changed, presumably. And we'll assume that the tree is upright, still h. Now, the thing about the 45-45 triangles is that we know these ratios. These ratios are one to one. The two sides are isosceles. The two sides are the same because we have an isosceles triangle. Equal angles make equal sides, so these two have to be equal. That tells us that x and h are equal. The fact that it's 45-45. Here, the second measurement produced an angle of 30 degrees. That tells us that this is the small side, this is the hypotenuse. To the other corner, you multiply by 2. To go to the medium one, you multiply by the square root of 3. These are the ratios well known for 30 60 triangles. From the small to the medium side, you multiply by the square root of 3. So that tells us that h uh, times uh, the square root of 3. Whoa, that's not a good eraser. So h times the square root of 3 would give us x plus 12, or said differently, uh, h is equal to x plus 12 divided by the square root of 3. Now wait a minute, <clears throat> on the, this hand we have that the height is equal to x. On the other hand we have that the height is equal to this thing. But it's the same height, so the two heights might, must be equal to each other. This height and that height must be equal to each other. Combining these two equations into one produces the idea that x must be equal to x plus 12 divided by the square root of 3. And that gives us one equation with one unknown. And that's beautiful because that means we can solve it. Square root of 3 times x is equal to x plus 12. That's multiplying both sides by square root of 3. Square root of 3 times x minus x is equal to 12. That's moving all the x's to one side. I'll factor out an x. That's the square root of 3 minus 1. And that's equal to 12. And finally, I just divide by the coefficient, so x must be equal to 12 over the square root of 3 minus 1. QED. That, my friends, is x. Wait, wait a minute. We find out how far we are from the tree. How do you figure out what h is? Well, we said h was equal to x, so I would plug it back in here, and the height is still equal to x. Still QED. That, my friends, is how we were able to measure a tree from far away. Just look at it, 45 degrees. Move 12 feet, 30 degrees, boom, you're done. You know the tree is exactly 12 feet divided by the square root of 3 minus 1. 
That's exactly how tall the tree is. That's it. We'll see you guys here next time.